Oh, greetings YouTube model people, how's it going? Okay, coming at you here with an interesting video. Um, it is actually Friday, September 6th, 2019. And today, I guess officially kicks off the 2019 Jersey Fest model figure um, show, which is held every year uh, now uh, at the uh, Marriott Newark Airport Hotel. And uh, really on Friday, I don't, the show doesn't open, uh, but they have classes going on. And last year for the first year, um, or first time ever really, that I took a figure painting class. And it was so fun. It was so cool. Uh, learned a lot. People there were all neat to work with. Um, the instructor was, was excellent. Very laid back. Very uh, enjoyable day. Um, took a day off for work for it. It went from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m., a full day, um, and it was just awesome. And uh, so I said, well, I got to do it again. So we came around 2019, we did it again, and we are, uh, you know, it was earlier today. And uh, basically the folks from Amazing Figure Magazine uh, are the hosts of the event, and they do a first-class job. Um, excellent. Uh, everything from the materials they give you, you know, you get paints, brushes, um, all the things you need to do it. Um, a display stand to work on it, and then a finished display stand to display your model when you're done. So again, it's first rate, first class. If you ever get a chance to take one of these classes, definitely do. Um, they're a lot of fun and you learn a lot. So this was the project we had for this year, which was a bust of uh, Batman. And uh, quite a unique uh, and awesome piece. And this is my uh, version of that and what I came up with today. In today's class. Um, now what's really kind of cool is um, you have this leather, I don't know what you call it, we, we only said it about a hundred times but I kind of forget the name of it, leather kind of cloak that goes over him. That's why it's kind of um, got a dry brushing there of, of a light brown, two shades to give a kind of a worn leather look to it. Um, but what's fun is today we explored quite a few different techniques so obviously lots of dry brushing there, um, which we're all pretty familiar with in model building. Um, this section here in the middle near the bat was done with gray pastel, interestingly enough. And then the uh, skin tone or face was done with paint um, and using um, makeup sponges uh, and dabbing uh, using different tones and textures. Um, uh, and then highlighting certain areas with pastel. So just in one day, um, you learn a whole bunch of different techniques and how you can approach different areas of a, a figure model. And of course, if you like one over another, you can even use it for an entire uh, project. Uh, one thing they were really emphasizing is if you use pastel right, which I did an okay job, not a great job with the pastel, um, you can almost look like it and blend it in a way in small areas uh, like an airbrush effect so um, so yeah uh, another cool thing is as I said they supply all the materials brushes paints everything else is we used um, both years the um, these little bottles of paint they're reaper paints actually if I look at the name here I think it says reaper yeah reapermini.com uh, very easy to work with these paints uh, if you ever see them you know pick up a couple and give it a try um, see what you think um, because I, I found it um, both last year and this year very easy to work with these paints. Um, they're water-based. So that's it, folks. Uh, just wanted to show you how I spent my Friday here. Um, again, an ex excellent day, lots of fun, and thanks to all the folks um, who ran the uh, seminar today from Amazing Figure Magazine, and thanks to the folks who were also in attendance, fellow model uh, or figure painters. Uh, they were all fun. My neighbors at my table were really enjoyable to, to work with and talk to, but so was everybody else. Uh, again, it's just a fun, loose environment, and everybody had a great time, and everybody has a little different take on things. I seem to be a lot more subtle with my coloring um, than others, but that's what's cool is everyone has their own take, but it all comes out nice in the end, so, or pretty decent in the end. So that's about it, folks. Uh, we'll talk to you in a bit, okay? Cheers.